get into some examples of how we can use molarity in preparation of solutions. So I'm going to do two or three videos here that take through the many ways that you can rearrange and apply the molarity formula. So first of all, let's recap what molarity is. It is moles of solute, whatever you're dissolving into your solution, per liters of the solution. And our substance of interest today will be some nitric acid. So let's say that I was wanting to prepare different strengths of uh, nitric acid um, and measure it in terms of molarity, which for general lab chemistry is a perfectly good way of measuring the strength of a solution if we're under standard room temperature and pressure. Once we get really far out of those conditions, we have to use another value called molality, but we won't be getting into that for a few days. Let's just stick with molarity for now. So if you're going to really be working a lot of solutions with something, of course you're going to need to know the molar mass. Uh, if you are having to deal with masses and you don't, and you know you don't have an already made solution that's of a defined strength, so in the case of nitric acid, 63 grams per mole. We won't be actually using this until our second video in this series because we're going to make an assumption we already have uh, known uh, mole amounts or we're looking for a mole amount. Um, so let's take a look at two problems here. So the first one, problem one, how many moles of nitric acid are needed to produce 450 milliliters of a 1.2 molar concentration? So once again, molarity is moles over liters. Most of the time in general lab chemistry, when someone says a solution concentration, they mean molarity. So we simply plug in our values here. We have our molarity, that's given in the problem. And notice that I have converted milliliters to liters. This is a moles per liter solution. If it is not in liters, it has to be put into liters for it to be viewed in terms of molarity. So we just multiply these two values and we get our uh, numerator on this fraction, which is the moles, and we have a little over half a mole, 0.54 moles of, uh, sorry, that should be, that's ammonia. That should, and that's how much nitric acid we have. Now, if we wanted to know how many grams that was, we would just simply multiply this by the molar mass. We're not going to fool with that right now. Problem number two, what is the concentration of a solution with a 2.6 times 10 to the negative first power moles of nitric acid in 850 milliliters? We once again take our molarity formula. We take moles over liters of solution. Notice that I've converted the liter of the milliliters to liters by moving the decimal three places to the left and we get a concentration of 0 0.31 moles. Now our next video in this series will be addressing it from the standpoint of needing to convert two grams of our solute or away from grams uh, to moles.